Good morning, little willies. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different than what you'd expect from me. Big willy. Carp tank. It's like shark tank, but carp tank. A Discord format that I shamelessly stole quackities. Discord's got talent. I saw it and I liked it and we're gonna do it. If you wanna support this video and help support the channel, you can buy a t-shirt over at catwarehouse.com. We have a new one coming very soon. Let me slip into something a little bit more appropriate for a game show and then we'll start. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the first episode of Carp Tank, the Discord game show where you present your really good robot and invention ideas. Today's special guests are Kevin, the backdoor scientist. Wait. Alan hey. Pan, failed Mythbuster. Is that? Hell say yeah, that? they fired me. I, I'm not allowed back anywhere near Adam Savage. <laughs> or within a thousand feet of schools. <laughs> And our content curator, Ian of iDub. I'm the Nick Cannon of this operation. Headset on, microphone out. Right now, iDubs is priming our first contestant. It looks like Stan. Oh, hello, Stan. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Are you nervous? Yeah, a little bit. You should be. Don't waste any of our time right now. Please explain <laughs> right, okay, what you're doing. Right, tell us. <laughs> Here, let me share my screen. All right. I see eggs. I see old so, people. You've heard of deviled eggs, right? Think about how much your family likes deviled eggs. Yeah, the old people. Not that in my much. Family. Too, too much. Every, my grandma loves about... deviled eggs the same amount she hates me. William, you're That's my least favorite grandson. <laughs> oh, Come on, man. Stan. All right, all right, all right. You have a whole bunch of family members, right? You know, you're at a family event. You know, you don't know what to feed them. You know, they're starving. Couldn't have made. Our family's a little more ethnically diverse. Uh, Stan, I mean, I, it's oh, been no. like a minute and I already don't know what oh, you're getting God. at. You really... <laughs> Uh, you have a lot of family members. You got to feed them all somehow. Your family loves deviled eggs. You think about a deviled egg conveyor belt. Right. You have a thing that makes like deviled eggs for you. It squirts them out onto the eggs and then it just goes onto the plate via the conveyor belt. Okay, then you have so... like thousands upon thousands of deviled eggs to feed your thousands of hungry family members. So the robot is a machine that makes deviled eggs. Yes. All okay, right, instead of a plate insane. at the end, can it just be a mouth? Can we or, just put our mouth yeah, sure. at the end of it? Or okay. does it just okay. shoot it at family members? That works too. Just shoot it does, it does everything. It makes them and feeds them. Exactly. All right, that, yeah. th that's enough from Stan. All right. Thank you, Stan. <laughs> just drag him out. Stan, your invention sucks. <laughs> uh, deviled eggs, no carp. No carp. No carp. What did I join in on? Oh, hey. I have no idea what that is. Side oh, Jesus, judge. Is that... I did a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Ham. Our next big contestant. contestant. Pam, we are very, very busy people. We don't have a lot of time, so give us your best presentation. Yeah, big problem in the world. Tall people are very mean to short people. You know, look at this tall person making fun of this short person with an incredible ass right here. Wow. Doesn't even realize because he's too people. short. My solution? That's right. Ooh. Is that a, an ass rocket? <laughs> no, these are um, these are stilts that make. Oh my god! Wow! Wow! Oh, this goes to the tall people. I just realized we're in short people. I'm kind of disappointed <laughs> with how good that drawing is. God. Oh, my bad, my bad. The idea is you put linear actuators on your feet, okay. and it'd be controlled using ultrasonic sensors, so it'd rise up right above their shoulders. So you're just slightly taller than them, and you can rub it in. I think some other great ideas would be very large pants to walk around stores and just you know casually grow without people noticing. I can't believe someone actually had a good idea. Yeah, I'm, I'm amazed. Yeah. I'm actually a little scared. Um, I, my question to you, Ham, is uh, as a tall person, could I wear something like this and become uh, even more threatening to small people? What about a version that makes people short? Yeah, I hate to break up this nerdgasm, but uh, your two minutes is up. I'm going to have to take them to the dry dock. I don't like it. I don't I, think we can have short people thinking they're I, equal. I think this is a great <laughs> idea. Yeah, I feel like Ham is going to be very useful to us in the future when we extract ideas out of him for free for our YouTube channel so we profit <laughs> up immensely. That was professional. <laughs> Who's the mean one? Am I the Yeah, he one? was prepared. I give Tall Machine... Carp. I agree. Uh, yes, carp on tall machine. I'm going to say no carp because I worked hard for these jeans and I, I don't think it's fair that people gain a height advantage. I'm pro carp. Okay, shut up everybody. Welcome to the carp tank. We are very busy. Our time is incredibly valuable. Do not waste it. Uh, all right. So my idea is a vibe check. Go okay. Sounds simple okay. and yeah. I have two options. I'm gonna run through those quickly. I have the sweet option where, where and the are not your, the sweet option. Wait, wait, wait. Where are your visuals? Uh, I can PM them. Oh my God, this is unprofessional. Sharing your screen, an option? Uh, no, I'm on my phone. 
Oh, all right. Dear. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> that was incredible. He was so scared. Of course. Hello. Hey. Uh, all right. Be quiet. Tell us what your invention is. Do not disappoint the carps. Um. So this one, what this is, it's basically, and it just wipes her butt. A, okay. a robot that wipes her butt. Okay, okay. So here's how it works, right? So once you're done taking your fat dumpy, you you press the button to activate right. it. And uh, okay. then what happens is that it deploys this thing that swings out. And what it does, it just violently just rubs your butt and it cleans up the mess. In this scenario, why am I not just using my hand? Because, well, Alan, I mean, you get shit on your hand. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that that is one. Uh, another one is let's say you're playing some Minecraft. Okay, you gotta you gotta get that thing built down in Minecraft Mobile. Uh, you're too you're too occupied to wipe your own butt, so you just press it and it does it for you. Oh, so this is like a gamer chair? Somewhat, yeah. Does this mean you don't have to wash your hands? No, you do not. I like that actually. All right, carp, well, carp or no carp? Well, I gotta I gotta ask question first. Okay, you okay. said that it rubs violently on your butt cheeks. How by is there a chance that I can get a toilet paper in my butt? In your butt, no. It only moves um, up and down. It just maybe a it, little it, bit. It just maybe. it just elevates a bit. What if I want to move a little bit? It elevates up a bit and then it moves front and back. All right, carp or no, no carp? I'm gonna give it no carp. Ah. I've got um, a question first. Is the brush hand shaped or what? What shape is the brush? It's um, it's just a metal thing. Okay, I'm, I'm down with that then. Yeah, I'm going to give it a carp. Uh, you can kick him out of here whenever you want. I'm going to go interview oh, the okay, next uh... one. <laughs> 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 I'm going to give that a carp. Normally, I just get shit on my hands. This would be kind of a new experience. Our next contestant is Shrug. Shrug, welcome to the carp tank. Oh, wow, a video presentation. This is a first. Please explain. You've got about two minutes. So imagine you're walking down the park, and out of nowhere, you see a dog just sprinting across and okay. being happy. And then you sit back and reflect, what am I doing with my life? All right, I haven't heard any invention yet. Then you start to feel something in your tummy, <laughs> and that's not tummy hurting. <laughs> in reality, scientists have proved that this is the, the small big cell. <laughs> And this can oh. trigger the big cell. <laughs> yeah, but what's the invention? Now, this... The dogs are having fun, and you are bored. And that's unfair, because we live in a society. Okay, Weapons I'm gonna drag you to the dry dog, and you're gonna get 15 second timeout. No! Come on, I, I was excited. I wanted 12, to hear his idea. 11, pulling 3, you guys. 2, 1. All right, have you learned your lesson? Start your stream back up and be concise, Shrug. Ladies, gentlemen, and attack helicopters, I present to you the Dog Ball Thingy Nature 3000. A fast, big tennis ball that every living being will be scared of. This can be done by tributes or a already existing throwing ball machine. <laughs> this video is sponsored by KiwiCo. No kidding! We're gonna get a little bit of overhead camera action. Should have been doing this ages ago. Get me out, get me out, get me out of the screen. Get me out of the screen. Who makes apps these days? KiwiCo is a fantastic resource for learning and inspiring yourself or other people. This is the Belista kit. It is a bunch of laser cut wood. Look at that, you haven't seen this in a long time. Every kit comes with all the parts you need to assemble the project. Flip it over. This is great, I like science. No, the way you peep over that table is kind of horrifying. Check this out. You stick the ball in the ballista, you pull the ballista down, and then you shoot. Yeah! We made a ballista in only 20 minutes. KiwiCo has kits for all different ages. This is sort of right in the middle. They have more advanced stuff. They have uh, simpler stuff for younger kids. And you can use my link, kiwico.com slash WilliamOsman50 to get 50% off your first order, which is actually a steal. Like I think at that point, they're losing money. So if you want to help me help KiwiCo lose money, get a 50% off. All right, back to the disaster that is Carp Tank. <laughs> I don't see people being motivated enough to just throw balls and Bro, grind. Bro, I put you on like timeout for exactly this reason. Just get to the point. To motivate people to use my product, <laughs> I will use pain. <laughs> he doesn't care. 
Like Calder, thanks and one save. All right, Ian, how much time does he have left? My brother, uh, we should call him. Mute him. All right, do we carp or no carp? <laughs> right, I have no idea what is what is going on. I, so I give yeah, a big fat carp know. like this. I, I'm He's got good energy. Is, no, no carp. Is. He's wasting our time on purpose. He gets a carp, but I, I, I give him a carp. Are you really? Yeah. Somehow you have gotten an obscene number of carps. I'm gonna... <laughs> Man, he did not care. He was just talking. He didn't even have an original drawing. It was all the stock images he stole. Actually, no, I want to bring it back in. Wait, just really quick, Shrug. How many of those drawings were yours, and how many of them did you just steal from the internet? <laughs> Shrug has just dominated the carps. I like it. Uh, hello, hi. Hello, oh. Ice Guy. Please show us your invention. Hi, my name is Cameron, and today I will be presenting the Banshee Bot. Are uh, you tired of relaxation, happiness, and sanity? Do you crave excitement? Do you want something that will haunt you every hour of the day? Then you need the Banshee Bot. This little adorable monster is essentially a tiny robot that plays loud, very loud sounds out of this speaker right here and will actively run away with you from you using these two wheels unless you push this button. Then you will have a time frame that will be randomly selected anywhere from 2 to 20 minutes uh, where uh, you will have complete silence, but then it will turn itself back on once again, it begins screaming. Kind of sounds like you've just made a robotic baby. Yeah, yeah kind of. It's, uh, it's more mobile than that. Don't they already sell this as an alarm clock? Um, I actually didn't know that there was an alarm clock. If you if you had Googled it before, you might have found it. You didn't do your product it. research? Well, personally, I think that this does have at least some uh, unique features. You see, the alarm clock just goes off and runs away, and you hit the button, and then the alarm stops. Okay. This one will randomly turn itself on and off repeatedly. It doesn't go away. How durable is it? Like, if can you get angry at it and chuck it across the room? Will it break? Depending on the materials, it could be built to be incredibly durable. I could go on to Amazon and just buy this right now. Second of all, I could also just make a baby by having reproduction. someone. You can't do that, Alan. <laughs> now that, that you mention it, Alan, you definitely can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> We're out of time. Carp or, carp or no carp? No carp. No carp. I'm going to give it a carp. Give a big what? fat no carp. So that's, I'm gonna give it a carp. that's one carp out of four carps. Just because it's an idea doesn't mean it's a good idea. Yeah, I'm retracting my carp. Welcome back, Synth Day. Earlier you were in here and you didn't have any visual materials to present to us. Apparently that was a technical yeah, difficulty. Sure. Yep. Okay, so basically, uh, it, the camera reads your face. If you have a bad vibe, uh, you pistol with them. If it has a good vibe, then it'll drop a twisty roll from the handle. I don't know. Uh, I thought of the twisty roll thing last moment, and yeah. If you're just pistol the whipping, why do you, one, why do you, how does it have to be a gun? Can it not be like a bat? Yeah, if it's uh, a gun, why doesn't it just that's, 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 where, that's where the bottom one comes in. You see the bottom? All right, that's it. Carp or no carp? Can I give it no, half a carp? No, no carp. carp. No carp. No I carp. give it a carp. You give it a card? Well, the biggest I, problem with this is if you point a gun at someone, their vibe is always going to be bad. Right. How are you detecting yeah. vibes? vibes. That's, well, that's I, I give it a card because I, I have I have an idea to make a gun that only shoots white people, and it's very similar, <laughs> so I give it a card. All right, you're out. I'm so, booting yeah. you. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, BR88C. Hello. Uh, just because your name is stupid, I'm going to give you a five-second timeout in the dry dock. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Five, four, Let five. me just preface this by saying we've seen a lot of really horrible ideas, and Will is, he's really had it up to here with this idea. I'm feeling ruthless. That's fair. I'm out for blood. I better okay. have a good idea. So this is my invention. Pigeons are a very well-known animal. They can fly, they can walk, they can run, they can eat, and they can float. All these things. And people have shown that you can train these pigeons to do many things, right? Yeah. Observations. Pigeons cannot operate armor-piercing missile launchers. This is a problem, because if you think about it, how many people are risking their lives every day trying to do these kinds of things? Well, we could just sacrifice the pigeons. So, I have come up with this. I feel like if you attach some strings or something, and like, kind of like a prosthetic thing, because all the pigeon needs to do is just pull like that little lever thing and it fires, right? It can now control this, right? And our dreams are accomplished. Lives will be saved. Well, this is probably the best idea I've ever come up with, okay, which is wait, wait, wait. kind I'm, of okay, so robot. Is the pigeon controlling the missile or is it shooting the missile? It is controlling it. Are you aware that there is yeah. military equipment that was devised in like World War II where pigeons would tap this on a the... screen controlling a missile? Is This, this idea is the has second time invented. somebody Wait, plagiarized someone really? else's invention. Wait, it's yeah. been in... Holy cow. I... If you look it up... Seven oh. or 80 years too late with this yeah. There's pigeon-guided missiles already. Well, I mean... 
I gotta look this Dude, up. Kids these cool. days don't do any research. I mean, look at all these citation needed. Okay, I I did a little research, but I all right. obviously. Alright, I'm didn't gonna. I, you, you get you get you get zero carps for plagiarism if it was an original oh. idea. That's a solid carp, and I believe the other carps would give you a carp as well. However, Hold on. no, no. Well, I was gonna rate it, but I'm getting a text message right now, and. Oh my. I'm oh, it's the it army. Over. The army would like to know your location because this uh, is brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, oh, BB-8. It's a good idea, but you stole it. <laughs> <laughs> the most epicest. I hope that you live up to your name because you're in the carp tank toilet coaster. All right, so my idea is the toilet coaster, or just toaster for short. Uh, so basically, it's just a toilet that simulates a roller coaster, and it does this using VR and a gimbal in order to create the illusion of being on a roller coaster. Okay, is this All a right. functioning toilet? Uh, perhaps. Uh, and now for a demonstration. You're gonna jump on your toilet and show. We have to blur the screen right now. All right, so basically we have this uh, toilet on a gimbal, right? You can rotate on all three axes. And so a person uh, goes here and they sit on the toilet. They put on this headset. Once they're on the toilet, it starts rotating and they're watching this VR video of the roller coaster, right? Okay. Okay. And then towards the end, just like any other roller coaster, you gotta get the camera with the picture. Uh, are they wearing pants or not wearing <laughs> pants? Because I, I think one of the things I'm stuck on right now is I can't quite figure out if this is like an actual functioning toilet or this is just like we ran out of chairs. Or it could be functioning if you want to. It makes the experience a whole lot better. If you know did. what? You would have to do it on a like a, a splash mountain because everything would get wet. Oh, yeah. Could it's be a right. composting toilet. Could be a dry toilet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Has anyone ever told you you sound like Dax Flame? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, but... <laughs> <laughs> last, uh, that was the last question. <laughs> all right. The, the, the time all right, is carps, up. Carps, carps. I'm, they, I'm they, gonna they... be honest here. This is this has got to be the only idea I've seen so far that actually is a good idea. Yeah, I'm gonna give I it agree. the biggest, fattest carp. I'm gonna give it a Thank carp you. as well. Oh, dude. Kevin. Poggers. No carps. Oh. <laughs> Careful with saying um, poggers. They might deduct carps for that. <laughs> I, I think that you're on to something, most epicist. Thanks. And by on something, I mean drugs. You're on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, cheese. Welcome to the carp tank. I feel yeah, like we... I have created the best thing that I have ever created. Okay, go on. So as you can see, this is a pregnant pregnancy condom inflator bus seat stealer. Okay. You see, this is one of those ideas that I think none of the other ideas that have been presented will match. This revolutionizes one of the greatest problems with transportation technology, not being able to find a seat on a bus or a train or a plane. If you sneak onto a train with this bad boy, in 20 seconds, you'll be pregnant and everyone will want to give you their seat. I like this. Oh, this is I, good. This is brilliant. This, this is, is absolutely this is brilliant. Actually brilliant. Honestly, that's the best pitch we've gotten and I already want to give it a cart. And you did it <laughs> in like, like it. 30 seconds. Honestly, Cheese, if I were you, I would shut your mouth right now because <laughs> you can only make this worse from where you are right now. Yeah. It's got some flaws though. Like, no matter what William did, even if he inflated his stomach to the largest size possible, no one would believe that he's pregnant. My thought is that <laughs> Cheese is playing on the, the social commentary of, like, you don't want to ask somebody if they're pregnant. And plus, honestly, you would most likely give your seat up to a morbidly obese person because their knees are maybe on the verge of exploding and the chair is... And they're wheezing on you. Right. Especially if you yeah, like right. inflate in real time, you're not gonna sit next to that person. <laughs> I feel like I have peaked as a human being. This is how you pitch an idea. So you come up with a really well done drawing, you showcase it immediately, you don't put it at the end of your 300 slide PowerPoint. Brilliant. You're gonna Round of applause. Left this to is, do. You, you, wanna, see, you I want did a job? Already. Do you want a job? Oh, yes, <laughs> I will take that job. Right, I am unemployed be, and I need we'll, money in contact. That's the story we're getting from a lot of people. I'm unemployed and I need money. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the prototype. It definitely will work. Oh. oh, wow. Very cool, Cheese. Uh, I'm going to throw you back into the dry dock. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Tell me which invention you want to see me build in a future video. I want you guys to give me all your good ideas. And if you want to be on a future episode of Carp Tank, if this does well, if this does well, we're going to do more Carp Tanks. There's a Discord link in the description below.